Hi Pisces, my name is Heather. Thank you so much for joining me today on my YouTube channel. So this reading is a general reading for the Sun, Moon, Rising sign of Pisces for the month of October. As a general reading, the messages may or may not resonate for you, which is also why I suggest checking out your Moon and Rising sign readings as well. Okay, so Pisces, let's see what energy is coming in for Pisces for the month of October. Okay. Okay, so Pisces, you have the Eight of Wands, you have the King of Wands, you have the King of Cups, a lot of strong energy there, you have the Knight of Wands, you have the Two of Swords, you have the... Hmm, Knight of Wands. So you've got the King of Wands and the Knight of Wands and the Eight of Wands, the Nine of Wands. Wow, you got a lot of a lot of fire energy here. And you have the Ten of Wands. Oh, you have the Sun. Yay! <laughs> you have the Page of Wands and you have the Two of Cups. Okay, so Pisces, give me one moment, please, just to uh, look at this a little bit. Okay, so Pisces, it is really looking like one, the big themes for you for October are you have a decision and choice to make and this is really all about what inspires you. This is, this is a month for you really to be, de be developing your creativity, um, your passions, hobbies, uh, really putting yourself out there, enthusiasm, any kind of yeah, there's just, wow, a lot of energy. I feel like October is going to be like very fast paced for you, Pisces. So let, let's just look at this. So with the Nine of Wands in your recent past energy, this is one final obstacle challenge for you to overcome. You've kind of like reflected on the past, looked at what you've done, what you've achieved, what you've accomplished, where it is that you want to go and what are these final challenges before so you've taken a little bit of a breather here before you're moving on into October uh, you have the king of cups in your foundation but, and you also have the king of wands crossing you this is really I, I'm really feeling the strong leadership energy for you and taking control for you and this is with there being the king of cups and the king of wands again this is you really seeking what is going to bring you emotional fulfillment and then creating a course of action and a plan of action here. Um, you going after what you want, what you're passionate about, what you're excited about with this. Um, and you're going after it in a very fearless way here with this King of Wands. And so overcoming this final obstacle and challenge here, you're going to be led with, you're going to have to make a decision and a choice because that's what's crowning you, that's what's on your mind. But a lot of communication and information coming in very quickly and you taking, once you, dis, once you go, once you start taking action Pisces, things are going to happen super fast for you here. Eight of Wands is a positive card, it is a positive energy here. As long as you put are willing to put in the work and stay focused on what it is you want. But I really feel like this is, this is a month for you Pisces to be dreaming big and going after it because you have the support of the universe here. You also have the drive and the energy. So I feel like if you've been feeling like you've been in a little bit of a slump energetically and just not having a lot of ambition, a lot of drive, that's turning around for you in October. So with this choice and decision, you have the Knight of Wands, so you're going to be taking action. And again, once you initiate that action, but this action, you're going to be continuing and moving into the next three months with it. Um, I kind of wanted, I'm not really seeing a clear area of your life, whether or not this is relationships or money career, but I feel like this is just in general about what you're passionate and excited about. So this will resonate differently for you, for each of you. For some of you, this is going to be about your money, your career, investments, finances. Maybe you're playing the stock market. Uh, for others of you, this is a passion project that you have on the go. Um, really. Uh, putting you, what you put out into the world and for other, others of you this could be a relationship you're pursuing a hot passionate relationship you're pursuing in the month of October um, but you
but yeah, the one thing with the Knight of Wands though that you do, I do want you to watch is again that burning out. So try and taper your energy and um, you know, kind of moderate it a little bit. Let's see what this Knight of Wands transformation. So the Knight of Wands is you got the death card. So this is like a death rebirth for you. Transformation. You are undergoing major transformations here. Um, your complete identity, who you are. And when you come out of this, Pisces, people aren't going to recognize you. It's going to be like a whole new you here that I feel like you're giving birth to. Um, this is, the because um, all the other cards are positive, you do have the Ten of Wands here in a challenge and a strength position. So any difficulties that you've been facing and experiencing, Pisces, any blocks, any, you know, any setbacks, any delays, they're coming to a, a closure. This is a 10, completion of the energy cycle. So and I feel like it's related to this one final obstacle that you had here. So this is showing that this energy is clearing out for you. You do have the sun in your environment, love it. So the sun, universe having your back, happiness, joy. This is the happiest card in the tarot deck. And this is what's in your environment. This is you, you, your sun shining and putting yourself out there for the world to see. And I really feel like that, that's what this is about for you, Pisces. And again, what area of your life it plays out for you is going to be different for each of you because it's a general reading. Uh, you have the page of wands in your hopes and fears. So again, a very new beginning. And so I feel like the fear here related with to this card for you is fear of, um, not quite sure where it's going and where it's leading for you. But you have the Two of Cups in a final outcome. So again, for some of you, this is about a relationship uh, and you kind of finding that soulmate here energy. Uh, as an outcome card, this energy can play out from now until two years from now. So it can be a long-term energy here. For others of you, this is you, you just really being supported by someone that's very close to you as you're going through this transformation and this process. Yeah. It's a beautiful energy here for you, Pisces. I'd love to hear comments or see comments uh, posted below on uh, how it is. What transformations are you going through, Pisces? I'd really like to know what's going on for some of you and how this energy plays out. Is it in your relationships? Is it in your money, career, finance? Uh, I'm going to uh, pull in Archangel Power Tarot card for you, just for final messages from Spirit. And then I'm going to pull an Animal Speak Rune. Haven't done that in a while. Okay, so Pisces, you have the Knight of Ariel. So there is so much to accomplish, is the message behind this card. So make very detailed plans, and um, you are also being watched over by someone that's kind. You can see in this card here that the person's being watched over. So, yeah, very nice energy for you, Pisces. Okay, and now we're going to pull an Animal Speak Rune. Let's see what animal energy you have around you for the month of October, Pisces. And you have... Okay. You have Pursue. Okay, so this is really about you going after what you want here. I'm going to read it from the book because it's been a while since I have um, been using the runes. And my memory is not the greatest. <laughs> so, hunting. Okay. So this is about you pursuing what it is that you need and what you want, Pisces. So, um, so it's now is the time for you to pursue what you need most. If you have put off pursuing goals or dreams, now is the time to take them on once more. If you are looking to change your job or find a new residence or romance, then now is the time to begin that hunt. There you go. So another thing for you to know is that you should be pursuing your goals and dreams in your own way. And that way they are ensured to be successful. So remember that there is no one doing anything that you cannot do as well in your own unique way. Borrow what you can from others, but then adapt it in a way that works best for you. In that way, 
You will more likely succeed and you will avoid the complications and traps that others have encountered in their pursuits. So there you go, Pisces. That is your energy for the month of October. I hope you enjoyed the reading. Be sure to like, share, subscribe. Click on that notification bell so you are notified when the November readings come out. Excuse me. And I will see you next time. Pisces, take care.